Are you in the market for a small, inexpensive action camera to take along on your next big adventure? Something that'll shoot great video, great still shots, and allow you to put together some amazing time-lapse sequences? Well, maybe you should consider this little gem. This is the Ekin H3R. Ekin is an electronics company based in China. They manufacture action cameras and drones. These cameras are available at a few retail outlets, but the main method of purchasing them is through online stores. I've seen this particular model range in price from a low of about $75 US up to $110. A real bargain in my opinion, considering all the great features built into the Ekin H3R. This GoPro inspired form factor camera is tiny, inexpensive, and it's compatible with any GoPro mounts you might already have. And if you don't, not to worry, this camera comes packed with all kinds of mounts and accessories. First, what do you get? Well, packed inside this little box is of course the camera and all of these accessories. The camera itself comes packed inside this waterproof housing. As well, there is a back door for the housing that has two small slots in it. This allows you to record better audio. And there is a frame mount that the camera slides into. This is great for mounting it on a tripod. There's also this tiny belt clip device that allows you to clamp the camera to things. It comes with two self-adhesive mounts. One is flat and one is curved for putting it on something like a helmet. Of course, it comes with a USB charger and a cable. There are various pieces of Velcro, wrist straps and tie straps. There's a cleaning cloth, of course, a set of instructions and various mounts for clipping it in, mounting it on a tripod, attaching it to handlebars. And these are all GoPro compatible. And this model also comes with a handy little remote control. All right, so those are all the goodies you get. Let's check out the camera itself. First of all, it comes in this real sturdy housing, which is waterproof to a depth of 30 meters. Great for snorkeling or scuba diving. It features a really secure latch on the top, which is actually a bit difficult to get in there and snap it open, but that's probably a good thing because there's less chance it's gonna accidentally pop open on you. The camera itself is very small and light, weighing in at just 66 grams with the battery and memory card installed. The wide angle fixed focus lens covers an extremely wide 170 degree field of view. The camera has three main operational buttons. The little one on the front here is the power button and is also used to cycle through menus. On the top is of course a shutter release that's also helpful with cycling through the menus. And on the bottom side here is a little button that's used for Wi-Fi connection. On the opposite end of the camera we'll find slots, a slot on the top for your micro SD memory card and two ports below it. One is a USB port for charging or uploading data to a computer and an HDMI port so you can play your images directly onto a monitor. There's a couple of view screens on the front. There's a small colored view screen uh, which shows uh, you know, data like your resolution setting, whether you're in video or photo mode. And on the back is a two inch monitor, uh, very sharp, very clear for monitoring your images. On this screen, you can scroll through the easy to read menu and select various options, including video and photo resolution, time and date stamp, exposure settings, time-lapse frequency, language, sound indicators. You can flip the image upside down. You can adjust the power saving settings and of course, format the SD card. The R designation on the H3R stands for remote. This option is only a few dollars more but it gives you a simple remote for triggering photos or video. The nice thing with this remote is you don't have to change the settings on the camera. You can switch from stills to video depending on what button you press. It features a big, easy to see button and an LED indicator. One of the first things you'll notice on this little camera is a large 4K logo right on the front. It's an eye catcher all right, but be warned, although Technically, this camera is capable of recording at resolutions of 3840 by 2160 pixels, which technically is 4K. Unfortunately, 
it only does that at a frame rate of 15 frames per second and that is just too slow for any video that has action or movement in it if you do want 4k if that's really important to you then i suggest you step up to the next model in the ekin lineup that's the ekin h8 that'll shoot 4k at 30 frames per second however this little camera does have a 2.7K setting, allowing you to record an image with a resolution of 2,704 pixels by 1,524 pixels. And it will do that at a reasonable 24 frames per second. I was very impressed with the video I got while shooting at 2.7K. It was really, really sharp. There was good color, good detail in the skin. And at 24 frames per second, my images played back very, very smooth. But the real reason I got this camera was for its 1080 HD capabilities. You can set it for 1080 at 30 frames, which is the standard for high definition, but you can also set it to record at 1080 at 60 frames per second. The higher frame rate is great for shooting fast action, and it gives you the flexibility of creating some impressive slow motion effects when you're editing your video. For still images, you can set the camera to record four, five, eight, or 12 megapixel images. There is a burst mode that takes three pictures in a row. You can take pictures using a self timer and you can create amazing time-lapse videos with adjustments for recording a single frame every 2, 3, 5, 10, 20, 30, or 60 seconds. So there's a lot of flexibility built into the time-lapse option. And one thing I'm really happy to see on a camera like this is the inclusion of an exposure compensation setting. This is really useful and allows you to brighten or darken your image. You can go from plus two f-stops down to minus two f-stops in one-third stop increments. That's a really nice feature to have. Another nice feature found on the Ekin H3R is its built-in Wi-Fi connectivity, allowing you to hook it up to a smartphone or a tablet, which means you can use this to control this. Once connected to your camera, you can then monitor your image on your smartphone or your device. You can go in and you can change the resolution from 1080-30 to 1080-60. You can flip the image upside down. And there's a feature built in here that's not even found on the camera, and that's an automatic white balance setting where you can go in and customize the color setting of the camera itself. You can also use your phone or tablet as a viewing device. You can view all your still images as thumbnails and all your video clips as well. You can play these in full screen if you want. The other nice thing is you can take all the images on the micro SD card and transmit them and store them on your phone, which is a great way to back up all your files. So enough with all the technical jargon. You're probably wondering, how do the images look? Well, in one word, excellent. Here's a sampling from one of our recent wilderness canoe trips.